Hi friends, welcome back to Catable. This is Engineer Abraham Umar, and today we'll be creating cam and uh, follower mechanism in SolidWorks, as you can see here. And uh, I have already uh, shared the link in the description, and you can download your file uh, from the description. So here, as, as you can see that uh, I'm using four parts to create this assembly. And uh, first, we will model these parts in SolidWorks. Then we will assemble it, and then lastly, we will animate the uh, assembly. So let's go to a new and create part. Okay. So let's create the cam first. So let's go to your front plane. And uh, uh, in this tutorial, I'll be using a CGS system, centimeter gram second. You can use an uh, analysis system. So let's go to your front plane, set sketch, and uh, let's create the basic geometry. So let's draw one circle here and one circle here. Okay, so let's dimension it. Let's go to a smart dimension and the dimension of the bigger circle would be let's say 8 mm and the dimension of the smaller circle it would be let's say 4 mm. And the center to center distance or pitch uh, is let's say 6 mm so that you can see uh, these uh, circles are tangent. Select this point, hold shift, select this point and select uh, horizontal. And uh, now you can see that these two circles are fully defined. So let's make them tangent. Select one, uh, uh, this line and I will draw one line here to here. And uh, you can see that these lines are uh, coincident and tangent. So let's go to here mirror entities. Before doing mirror entities, I have to draw one center line, one center line here to here. And uh, let's go to your mirror entities, select this item, uh, this entity. Uh, uh, I will mirror this entity and uh, about this line and select OK. And now I will trim the unwanted part. So go to here trim entities. I will trim this portion, this portion, and this portion. And now you can see uh, the contour. So let's make another uh, circle. Let's say I will make a circle having diameter 3.5. Okay. And uh, let's go to your features. Let's go to boss. And uh, I will extrude it up to 2 centimeters from the mid plane. And select OK. So cam is done. Let's change the background to plain white and uh, let's go to here sketch and uh, let's say I will make another circle on this uh, flat face and uh, I will make a circle of uh, let's say uh, 4 uh, 4 centimeter and this circle would be uh, I will use the circle when I will be uh, using concentric meat right so I will make this circle as construction so the circle would not be part of our geometry okay and uh, we can add some chamfer so just exit the sketch and we can add some chamfer of uh, maybe 0.5 in this edge, this edge, and uh, in these two edges, maybe I will reduce this to 0.2 and select OK. So, cam is done, and uh, I will save this, I will save as uh, part one, okay, and uh, now I will draw the second part. So let's draw the roller. Let's go to here, maybe front plane, select sketch, and uh, I will be using CGS. So go to your front plane, I will draw the circle, and this will be the second part that is roller. So this will be roller, and uh, I will dimension it. So the dimension would be 3, uh, three centimeters, and uh, I will go to your features, extruded boss. And I will extrude from the mid plane up to let's say 2 centimeters and select OK. 
uh, let's go to sketch again this time I will sketch in this face and uh, I will make a circle of let's say one centimeter and go to your features extruded boss and I will extrude it up to one centimeter set ok uh, let's go to here mirror because I want the same extrusion in this side as well so let's go to here mirror and uh, the plane I will be using will be front plane and features to mirror will be this boss extrude now you can see that this part is mirror in this side so let's apply some chamfer and uh, select this edge, this edge. So select OK and the chamfer is done. So the second part roller is also done and as you can see that. OK. So let's draw the third part and the, that part would be the support. So let's save this first as part 2 ok and let's go to here new again select part and select ok and I will be using front plane select front plane sketch and I will be using CGS system and uh, let's select this line tool and uh, I will make one line here and uh, one line here and one line here ok so let's draw one center line from here to here and I will make this line vertical. So select this line, select this line, select this line and I will make a relation symmetry. Okay. So let's apply one dimension let's say here to here is uh, 2.2 centimeters and uh, this dimension is 3 centimeters select this line select uh, this line and make horizontal and uh, this line would also be horizontal ok so let's apply offset tool so to your offset entities and I will make offset of 0.5 centimeters select this edge uh, sorry select this line and reverse and I will go to a cap ends and I will uh, end the caps using lines and select OK. So let's exit this sketch and uh, I will go to a extruded boss, select this contour and uh, I will be using the extrusion from the mid plane and extrusion would be 2 cm and select OK. Uh, let's change the background to plane white and let's make a circle here and I will extrude it. So let's go to a sketch, select this face, I will go to a circle and uh, I will make a circle having diameter 1.5 centimeters. And uh, let's go to here the features, extruded boss, and I will extrude it up to 5 centimeters and select OK. So uh, let's apply some uh, extrude cut and uh, I will need two uh, uh, cut extrusions. So let's go to a sketch, select this face, select a circle and I will make a circle having diameter 1, one centimeter and uh, let's apply some dimensions. The dimension from here to here is also 1 centimeter and you can see that it is still underdefined. So select the center of the circle, select this origin and make them vertical. Now you can see that this is fully defined. Let's go to your features, extruded cut and I will uh, cut through all and select OK. So you can see that uh, we will apply a roller here. So let's apply some uh, fillet on these uh, flat edges. Let's go to your fillet and uh, I will be filleting uh, with a radius of 1 centimeter. So I will select this edge, I will select this edge and uh, maybe I will select this edge, uh, this edge and uh, let's select this edge and also this edge. Sorry, just delete this face and I will select this edge. Okay, and select uh, enter. 
so let's apply some uh, fillet on these uh, inside edges but I have to reduce the uh, radius 2.5 because one centimeter radius uh, would not work here select this edge and select this edge uh, lastly I will apply some chamfer so let's go to the chamfer and I will reduce this 2.2 I will select this edge I will select uh, maybe this edge and I will select this edge okay or maybe I have to reduce the size uh, let's reduce it to maybe 0.1 okay so uh, we are done with the third part as well and uh, now i will save it as uh, part let's change it to part three remember we are using four parts to create this animation and uh, let's go to here new select part and click ok uh, i go to the front plane select sketch and uh, I will make one center rectangle. I will change it to CGS. And uh, let's say I will sketch on the top face. And I will select the center rectangle. Sorry. Select the center rectangle. And uh, I will make one circle here. And the diameter would be 1.5. So this length would be 3 and uh, select this line hold shift select this line and make equal now you can see that it is fully defined so i will go to your features pause extrude uh, extrude from the mid plane and extrude up to 2 centimeters and uh, select ok uh, now i will use fillet tool and uh, the fit would be one centimeter on this edge this edge and uh, maybe this edge and this edge and select ok also you can use chamfer tool point 0.2 chamfer maybe point 0.1 chamfer would be enough we will change to point 0.1 one chamfer here and one chamfer here and select ok and now i will save it as uh, let's say I will save this part as part 4 and we will be using all these uh, 4 parts in the assembly. So let's go to here make assembly from part and uh, now I will be inserting all these parts in the assembly. And uh, as you notice that uh, this game is fixed and uh, by default it is fixed. Uh, the first part that you always inserted in solid assembly is fixed so let's float it and uh, now uh, we will make some mates so let's go to here sketch and uh, i will make a circle and this circle we will be using for the concentric mate with the cane so let's make one circle up to here and exit the sketch and uh, let's select this circle and the circle that we made in the part mode select this one and select this concentric mate and this mate is done so now you can see that i can uh, rotate this game but you can see that this game uh, i can also drag this game here and here so i have to constrain this motion of the game front plane of the cane with the front plane of the assembly and now you can see that uh, I can rotate this cane but I cannot drag this cane here and here so uh, which we want and uh, let's change the background to plain white and now you can see uh, the assembly uh, clearly okay so let's make another mate and uh, this time uh, I will be using concentric mate this roller with this support let's go to here uh, mate and uh, i will be using concentric mate okay also uh, i will be using a width mate here as well so let's just drag this to here 
and let's rotate it here as well. Okay, so let's go to here mate, and uh, this time I will be using advanced mate. And under advanced mate, I will be using quick mate. You can also use symmetric mate here as well, but you have to make a plane here. Okay, so let's go to here width mate, select this face, and uh, I will select this face, I will select this face for the ruler section and I will select this one. Now you can see that this ruler is uh, inserted in the support and select OK. So uh, uh, OK, so let's make uh, another mate and uh, the mate of uh, this support with the uh, let's say front plane of the assembly. So let's go to here this uh, third part and uh, I will be using let's say the right plane with the front plane of the assembly. Now you can see that this roller is right in the center of the skin as you can see here as well. Uh, I can still drag it. Uh, later we will apply a game mate here. Just rotate it and uh, okay. Uh, I can still drag here and here as well. So I have to constrain this as well. You can see that uh, I can drag here and here and uh, I can also drag here and here. So I have to constrain this as well. So, so let's apply another mean and now you can see that I can still drag here and here. I have to constrain this motion. So let's apply another mate. This time I will be using, let's say, the mate I have just applied is the right plane. So now I will be using front plane of the support. Okay. So let's select this front plane and uh, the mate of the assembly would be the right plane okay select coincident and now you can see that i can only drag this support here and here now i will constrain this using game mate okay let's hide this uh, circle first and now i will be using uh, game mate here you can see i can still drag here and here i can rotate this game uh, independently so let's apply this game mate here and uh, let's go to here mate and uh, this time I will be using game mate and you can find this game mate in mechanical mates okay so let's select this game mate and uh, the path is this one and the can follow is this one okay and select okay now you can see that I can uh, do this game and now you can see it is working okay lastly I will apply uh, I will apply another mate and this would be the concentric mate of this part 4 with this uh, boss extrude and this will be concentric mate and uh, so now you can see that I can uh, rotate this game so you can see that uh, I can rotate this part anywhere so it's better to fix this one so let's apply the last mate and uh, you can see that i can still drag here and here and uh, let's go to here fourth part and uh, in the fourth part let's say i will constrain this front plane with the front plane of the assembly let's make it coincident and uh, now you can see that I can use this assembly. Let's hide this circle and uh, now you can see the assembly. Okay. So lastly I will apply appearance to these parts. Let's go to here appearance and uh, let's say I will go to here plastic, high gloss plastic and uh, let's apply let's say uh, satin finish to this game and uh, maybe 
I'll go to your metal and uh, chrome and I will apply chrome plate to this support not on this boss extrude but oval on this part and I will apply this on the part on the part level let's go to here uh, brass and I will apply polished brass to this part 4 and uh, lastly I will apply another appearance and uh, let's say I will apply a red color appearance to this ruler high gloss and uh, okay this one to this ruler on the part level okay now you can see that I can uh, uh, rotate this cane and this cane is working very fine okay lastly I will uh, make a very short motion study I go to here motion study and uh, let's go to here the basic motion and uh, let's say I will apply motor on this uh, edge sorry on this uh, uh, circuit and uh, the rpm would be let's say 10 rpm and uh, now I will drag this to uh, maybe 15 seconds and uh, I will calculate it now you can see that this game is working very fine okay so let's stop it and uh, we can uh, we can increase the frames per second so let's change it to 50 and uh, also let's change the contact resolution to high from low and uh, we have to calculate it again so let's decalculate it and now we can see the game is working very fine so let's stop it here and uh, lastly i will save this animation so go to your save animation and uh, i will change this name to uh, let's say animation uh, of game and follower and I will uh, I will increase the frames per second to 50 and uh, you can change this ratio so let's change it to 16 by 9 and uh, I will save this animation So that's it for today's tutorial. Uh, I hope you have learned something new in this tutorial and I hope you like it. Uh, if you have any questions, any queries related to this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list, you can ask in comment section. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting videos. Thank you.